In this video we go shopping at Radio Control Shops in Hong Kong. And spend $5,000. Radio Control Shopping coming up. What's up guys, I'm Joe, and I'm Amber, and we're the RC Kiwis. Kiwis on this channel. You'll find everything from fashion, crawling, speed runs, unboxing reviews, and much more. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. That way you won't miss out on any of our future RC adventures. In today's adventure, we look at the RC shops in Hong Kong. Now it's just going to be me with a friend. Amber couldn't come today. She's grinding, she's on that grind, making that paper so we can buy more RC stuff. Because we've got no sponsors, no sponsors yet. If there's any sponsors listening, hey, reach out to us, man. We put our email at the end of the video. You know, that's enough talking. Let's get that mask on and head into Hong Kong. One hour later. There he is, finally. What's up, brother? How are you doing, man? All right, guys, this is Alex. You might remember him from this video here where he was running around. Jesus Christ. We'll say that again. You might remember Alex from the video we were doing the expensive versus cheap race. He was on the ground flipping our cars, doing some recording for us. And then, of course, you might, for those long time subscribers, you might remember him from our crawling video, which we did months and months ago. Uh, if you want to go to sleep, go check that video out. <laughs> Concentration he has is just unbelievable. Anyway, here we are. We're in Mong Kok in Hong Kong, and we're gonna do some RC shopping. I've got some parts to pick up. I'm gonna try and convince this guy to maybe get a car today. He's gonna have a look anyway. So uh, let's get to it. But before we get to the RC shops, first I need to go get myself an air compressor because these cars are getting dirty, and it's time I actually clean them properly so I don't have these screwed up bearings. We're getting lost here, man. Alex is on the Google Maps. It's got a million degrees outside. And uh, I'm just trying to find this compressor shop right now. Of course, we've got the mask on, man. You gotta, you gotta stay safe out here. You gotta stay safe on your RC adventures. You're on here? Yeah, we're going here. Yeah. Hey, do you sell air compressor? Do you sell air compressors? Air compressor? Hmm. Drrr. Ah, okay. This one? Okay, thank you, thank you. Well, you'll find in Hong Kong a certain type of shop, they'll all be clustered together, like Adidas shops, a whole lot of Adidas shops are clustered together. Nike shops, same story. Hardware stores, same story. RC shops, same story. We're going to see that soon. What we need, we need is a small one, just a small one. How much is this one? 105 volt. 105. 1050 dollars. Okay, uh, can we test? Yep, of course. Yeah, yeah. This is the on and off, and it ups and down for the power. This is a slow, a okay. slow one. Can I try? Cool. Okay. Sorry if the uh, video quality and audio quality is, is dropping out, it's because unfortunately my camera just died. But we picked up that comp air compressor and we're on our way to the RC shops here in Hong Kong. We'll try and show you them as best we can. My money on my cell phone, man. This thing and weighs a million pounds. The <laughs> and we're just passing. This is dangerous. This is some dodgy operation. Look at this. Look at this, man. There right there is the hospital. There right there is the hospital for the coronavirus. So you gotta be careful. Gotta keep that mask on. Don't touch the mask. And uh, let's get to these RC shops, man. Okay, all the shops are just over here. You can see the street there. Oh, here it is. Here's the street right here. Uh, it might be backwards, but it says Dundas Street. And there are a lot of shops closed at the moment, so we're just gonna have a look around and see what we can find. Don't touch the mask. You guys that like airsoft, this is where all the airsoft stuff is as well, man. I've brought some guns from there. Toy guns, guys, toy guns, airsoft guns. And over there, guns and uh, guns, guys. Actions Hobbies, Hong Kong, pretty sweet. They got Traxxas, they got, uh, oh, they got those little crawlers. That's pretty sweet. They got the beast down there. Alex, you're gonna buy that? 
You're gonna buy that, bro? That's oh, pretty sweet. Let's head inside. See what they got. I don't know if I'm allowed to record. Probably not, but we'll see. Oh man. Look at these goodies. Oh. Oh, no recording. Sorry. <laughs> okay. We're gonna have to cut out of this one. But uh, we'll do some more recording at the next shop. One day soon, guys. One day soon. I promise. I promise. I'm gonna get that right there. Here's another shop, guys. A lot of Tamiya. A lot of Tamiya. We're thinking of getting a couple of mini ones. But there is a mini racetrack here in Hong Kong. So we're gonna have we're gonna keep looking around man, see what we can find. Another shop just around the corner. But it looks like they just do a whole bunch of models. It's pretty cool. Alright, before we hit the next RC shop, man, you already know. Be hitting up this place right here, man. We've gotta get our supplements, our monthly supplements. Skin pre-workout man. Skin the pre-workout. Here's another RC shop. Uh, don't really know how to say that word, but some of you will. <laughs> Put in the comments below, what is that? Uh, and they do a lot of cool mini mini RC stuff, like this Kyosho. And at the moment, uh, Alex is leaning towards one of these smaller ones. You know, this is his first RC. And he's looking at getting one of the little ones first. He'll start little and work, and work his way up to the X-Max eventually one day. One day. One day. All right, man, so you've done crawling with us before. Yeah. You've been to the racetrack. You haven't done bashing yet. I mean, you guys know, bashing is probably one of the favorite things that I like to do and the Amber likes to do. But out of what you've done, crawling or racing, what do you prefer? Oh, racetrack. Racetrack? Oh, all the way. Yeah. What, do you, what do you enjoy about it? It's, it's competitive, it's fun, and you can have multiple cars. When you do crawling, it's like one at a time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Versus when you're at the racetrack, you can have multiple cars on the, uh, <laughs> oh, on the track at the same yeah, time. Yeah, I, I feel you. I mean, I mean, you can go multiple crawling as well, you know? If you pick up crawling, I got a crawler, we got a crawling adventure together. But yeah, I agree. I mean, racing, it's just so much more fun, it's more competitive. Oh, is it? Yeah, crawling's I, I, pretty competitive too. They're both pretty competitive. Because crawling, you know, you're trying to get up, get up a rock face, trying to get up a waterfall, and you're trying to beat your other guy to see if you can get a better time. You know, like we did in that time trial video. That's true. But racing, it's a bit of adrenaline, eh? Yeah. When you're on your final lap and it's neck and neck. And then you fuck your bump. car going around a turn. Yeah, something like that, exactly. And then you pick it up. Your name's uh, the RC Kiwis. <laughs> but I mean, I reckon for Alex, I'm suggesting like a short cost truck, like a Traxxas Max, uh, not Max, uh, Slash, or the Lucy Baja Ray or something like that. But he still he wants to get something cheap, man. He wants to get something small and cheap. So we're first thinking, car, it's the first car. I think it may we're thinking car. maybe a Hot Wheels car or something like that. <laughs> we'll have a look. I want one of those ones that wind back and then they go <laughs> forward. <laughs> just wind I mean, back. Look, the budget he's given me, I mean that's all he's gonna be able to afford. He doesn't know. He doesn't RC it costs a bit, but it's a good investment, you know, it's an investment for your enjoyment, good socializing. It's just a good day out when you got your RCs, the batteries charged up. Anyway, we're heading into our last shop. This is by far my favorite shop in Hong Kong. I mean, there are other ones out there that have good good stuff, but th this place here, really good, really nice stuff, and they're really uh, very, very helpful. So this is one of the reasons why I love the shop in Hong Kong. Jet Hobbies, let's go check it out. All right. Man, we're still in Mong Kok. For those that are in Hong Kong, you know where Mong Kok is. 12 Victoria Avenue, let's get inside. I forgot what floor it is, so we might have to go to every floor. All right, let's head. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. I'm gonna try 417. Drop 10 grand on an X Max. That's Hong Kong dollars, by the way. Actually, they're probably about 8 grand. I'm about to drop 10 dollars. <laughs> uh, not on this floor. <laughs> right, maybe a 7. Let's try 7. And they're on floor 1. We should have just checked the website. Here we are. Jet Hobby. Right, I've been given permission to do a little bit of filming here. And this is the best shop in Hong Kong. I'm just going to say it like that, man. By far. I mean, they sell a lot of cool products, a lot of stuff from Horizon, which is hard to find here in Hong Kong, but this shop here, G-Hobbies, they got it all, man. We love it here. And I already know one thing I'm picking up right now, and you guys might know, and that is gonna be some Spectrum batteries and a Spectrum charger. But, uh, and I, I wanna get one of these rugged, man. I'm looking at one of the, I wanna get one, maybe not, not, not this month. <laughs> Spend enough, but, uh, this year, maybe next month. See, that could be a good option. Now that could be a good option for you. We'll go for the Armour Limitless. Then you just gotta buy a motor and... <laughs> See, that there is what I reckon you should get. That right there. The Low C Baja Ray. Do you see that orange one? That is what I think you, ah. you should get. It's an awesome truck. I mean, we're gonna get one on our channel. How much is it? And it's, it's, it's below three grand. Um, 
that is what I recommend you get. We're not all rich uh, YouTubers are uh, like like ours. Hey series. man, hey man, what are you talking? You're an international airline pilot. What are you? You talking about buying a toy car? You're an international airline pilot. Your rent's like half mine, son. <laughs> Gee, but so anyway, we're gonna have a look, and uh, we'll show you soon. We'll be in a barn. Lipo comes with everything. Yes. Yeah. There's rear wheel drive though. Do you reckon you can drive a rear wheel drive, Alex? Hmm, that's the question. <laughs> uh, the I don't question. even know if I can. We, we've got a rear wheel drive coming to the channel very soon. But, I mean, this is 1100, a good budget friendly option for your first RC. Waterproof, ready to run. It's going to work at the track. It's 118th though, so it's, quite, it's pretty small. Alright, so it's looking like Alex is leaning towards the Losi Mini T 2.0. I think this is the winner. It's the winner, man. It's pretty cool. It's looking pretty cool inside there. It's pretty small, man. It's pretty small. Oh, these the chubby first, hands. First Jesus Christ. That's despicable. I need no. to get on that car ASAP. <laughs> but um, it's his first RC. I think that's a good option. Good price. I'm, I'm, I want to get one, man. I also want to get one of these. You know? I mean, they're pretty decent prices. That's Hong Kong dollars, by the way. Uh, the cheapest I've seen them in Hong Kong. Really good price. So I don't know. What do I get, man? Do I get one of these? Or do I get one I of these? I you get one of these. Because then I can race you at the track. Then where it's, it's fair, fair. But, I mean, there's a... Cr oh. <laughs> I'm going overseas soon, guys, uh, for work. And I'll be stuck in a hotel room for how many days? Four like, days? Three four, days? Five? I'm pretty sure more than four. Four, four or five days? Might be five days? What am I going to do inside there? You know, this could be a good option. But then this here... Could be a lot of fun too, man. I have to think, but uh, first I'm going to get the Spectrum batteries and Spectrum charger. And there's the charger up there. I'll see how much this comes to first. Or oh, I could get a jet. Man, these batteries get expensive, guys. Get expensive. I so made the purchase. I'll show you what's in my bag when we get home. But first, let's take a look at Alex's very Done. first RC. Are you happy with your purchase? Very happy. The Mini T 2.0. This is a two-wheel drive. You even got an extra battery. Lucy, extra battery as well. You're going to need that, man, when we go to the track. But this thing looks pretty sick. And it comes everything in it, ready to run. This is our unboxing video, guys, inside a taxi in Hong Kong. We're doing the unboxing. I bet you haven't seen an unboxing like this in a Hong Kong taxi before. All right, show them what we got there. Got the remote. Pre-standard. Pre-standard little remote there for the 118th scale. Two-wheel drive now, look. Neither of us know anything about this truck, uh, this truggy, other than it looks cool, man. All right, bring that truck Pretty up. Good. These guys want to see the truck. All right. That is nice, man. That's oh. got a metal bottom, eh? It does. Metal bottom. Awesome. Top, yeah, no, that, that's going to be sturdy. And those wheels, they oh. feel good. You can see how small they are. They're a nice soft compound. Even the shocks. All right, yeah. man. Your low shocks are known to be very, very good. I right, get that. Get that this is the drop test. This is the drop <laughs> test. Did we get it? Did we get it? <laughs> Haven't got the slow motion going, but... Uh, Take those body clips off and let's check under the hood. Don't lose those body clips though. I might have to get one. Put it down in the comments below. Should the RC Kiwis get one of these little buggies, these little truggies? Let us oh, know. Okay, there we go. Man, look at that. That looks nice. Got your little Spectrum ser um, servo there. ESC. It's got a two cell lipo underneath there. Quite small, I think it's 600 milliamps, I think. Yeah, but the, the spare we got is 800. 800. Yeah. And what else we got there? We got the. Gee, I want to get a feel. Oh, it's nice, nice light weight to it. Rear wheel drive. Was this brushed? I think this is the brushed model. First RC. Doesn't want to go crazy. I was trying to get him to buy an X Max, but uh, you know he did the sensible thing and got something smaller to start with. But I'm excited to see how this thing handles at the track. And we are going to be making a video when we do take this out to the track and we go head to head with, with uh, Alex. I'm going to bring one of my RCs to go up against you. Maybe I'll bring out one of my cheapo. WL Toys versus it. Oh, but, this, um, this will destroy your, your WL Toys. <laughs> so guys, you don't want to miss that video when we take this to the track and they get and he, Alex, goes head to head with the RC Kiwi. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Anyway, it's time to head home. We've got a long journey ahead of us. We've got a taxi ride, and then we've got a train ride, and then we've got a bus ride, and then I'm home, and then we're going to show you what I've got inside of my bag. All right, I'm back at home, back from the shops. What a full day of shopping out there with Alex, man. He's super happy with his RC, and we can't wait to go out there and race him at Lali Warehouse when everything opens back up. Anyway, Amber has no idea what I brought, so let's just jump straight in. The first thing, you guys already know, I got that air compressor. 
Um, this is the tubing we got for free, by the way. That's cute. We got the, the we got for free. Oh, but yeah. So he's trying to justify. He's that. trying to justify the five thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but this is the air compressor we got. It's a beast. It's heavy. It's my new dumbbell. It's pretty cool. It's pretty Can cool. Um, oh gosh. I mean, this is gonna keep everything clean. You know, uh, I've been wondering how guys clean their RCs, keep them nice and brand new looking. And it seems that the myth that most people say is they they get the car. It's all dirty from being out in the mud and the wet. They get their simple green or some kind of spray, spray the car down, rinse it off some water. And then they spray with the air gun, you know, to get rid of all that water around all the screws and bearings to prevent rust because we've had some of that issue. Then they spray it down with some WD-40 with a silicone based one. So that's what we're going to be doing now. So keep our things clean. Is oh, this, this tube was... free as well? I got this ages ago, but it didn't fit this one. So we're going to go with the blue one. So that's our first purchase. This was $1,050. That's Hong Kong dollars, by the way. So let's uh, move on to the stuff that you guys want to know what I brought. Some of you already know, so pull that, put that aside. All right, now let's go. Let's get into this box. You got the knife there. I do. So first off, well, we're not going to need to open these. Got some shrink wrap, and that's for you know the current build that I'm doing, and for when I'm soldering a whole bunch of these connectors. So I'm going to actually go with the EC5 connectors. So I've been working out. We've got all these batteries, all different connectors: Traxxas, T, XT90, XT60, and I've decided I'm going to go EC5. The reason being, I did think about this. I use a little bit of logic. Most of our cars and the Horizon stuff comes with IC5 or IC3, right? Now, I mean, EC5, EC3 works with the IC stuff. So it kind of made sense that, right, we're gonna, we've got some, well, you're gonna see in a minute, we've got these Spectrum batteries that are using the um, IC5 connectors. So it just made sense to go EC5 for the rest of the stuff. So that's all we're doing. That's all we're doing, man. Go with these. Um, so yeah, of course, we've got the batteries. So I've got two 5,000 milliamp, uh, three cell LiPo, 50C discharge uh, Spectrum Smart batteries. I'll talk a little bit more about these in a second. I'm excited to learn about this. And they're both hard case, yeah. Go for it, open that up. And also got a 5,000 milliamp, four cell LiPo, 50C just discharge. So that's gonna be good for an our Traxxas Max. You've seen our old one, it's been puffing up, blowing up like a balloon like me on the bulk, so about time. I want to be a bit safer, I don't really like having them inside if they're starting to bloom, so these Usually should be safer. Smaller part, these yeah. are really hard to open actually. And always store your batteries in a metal box, and get an ammo box, or a lipo bag. We've got a lipo bag, but I do need a metal box. Things get expensive, man, but if you invest in a really high quality battery, it's gonna last you a lot longer, it should last years if you look after it, um, versus getting a whole bunch of cheap ones that end up puffing up, and then also, you know, Put you at uh, your life at risk, really, doesn't it? Yeah. This was the this was the most expensive purchase of the day. I think it was around twelve hundred dollars. Um, and this is the Spectrum S twenty one hundred AC Smart Charger. An IC three connector in there. So if you, you might need one of these adapters that we got, which is the IC three in IC five connector. Um, which you're going to need these for these batteries that we've got. These batteries, you know, you can charge them, and you can kind of forget about them. You know, if you go to the track and you end up not, you know, you might charge five batteries up and you only end up using three and you get home and you're tired, sometimes you forget or you're too lazy to chuck your batteries on storage charge. And it takes, you guys know, it takes hours sometimes to discharge a fully charged LiPo battery to its storage charge, which is around about 30%. Now, the cool thing about these smart batteries is if you do forget about them or leave them, they automatically begin to discharge to their storage charge of about 30%. Um, and, that, and you can set the... The, the timer for when that begins. So it could be 12 hours. If they haven't been used after 12 hours, they begin auto discharge. It could be 200 hours. You can set it. And you can set that in this charger. This charger is super cool. Um, literally, you plug it in, you plug in the batteries, and it, it sorts out the best charge rate for that particular battery. It sorts out, uh, it sorts out everything if you're using the compatible smart spectrum battery with this smart charger. But the also a cool thing is you can still use your old batteries with this using adapters. The other thing is you're gonna to have to manually set the charge rate and everything else if you're going to use um, dumb batteries with the smart charger. But if you're using the smart battery with the smart charger, it does it all yourself, and that's just super easy, especially for beginners. If you're a beginner out there, you need to lipo batteries, man, this is the way to go. All right, so we're gonna be going out to the track very soon, and when I do and charge these batteries, I'll show you a little clip in the future video of using this charger. We have some awesome videos planned. We have cars on the way. We have races I need to beat Joe at. 
So make sure you hit that subscribe yeah. button. <laughs> if you enjoyed today's video, smash that like button. If you didn't, smash it anyway. And look guys, make sure you stay safe out there on your RC adventures with the RC Kiwis. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Full for the melody, I don't wanna stop right now. All I need is a drum with the heavy beat. Hit me with that future sound. It's time to let go when I